Pegasus, this is Capcom. Prepare for launch. Five, four, three, two, one, launch. This is real. This is as real as it gets. These were definitely the most glorious 15 seconds of my life. I can never forget them. Never ever. Hype Loop is real. Thousand kilometers an hour. That's that's how fast it can go. And like I mean, obviously, if you think about it, depending on the topology and route alignment and passenger comfort, you might dial that speed down. Um, but the capability is yes, you can just go thousand kilometers an hour. reason why we need a vacuum structure is because what we're trying to do is we're trying to get rid of air resistance. So now you've created the structure, an enclosed space in which you don't have a lot of aerodynamic drag. Now you have these magnets which repel when they are moving at a fast, uh, if you put magnets on a track and you move them really quickly on that with high speed, they repel and they create a repulsive force, which is what lifts the pod. So I went to 170 kilometers an hour. But that's in 300 meters in six seconds. The total travel distance was around 400 meters. It took around 15 seconds, out of which the first six seconds was uh, an acceleration part of it, then there was coasting and stopping down. We, we are um, looking at a bunch of different opportunities. So the, the, the one that's actually furthest ahead in the road is uh, Pune, Mumbai. Um, we've been working on that for a while. Uh, and recently, Niti Aayog also created a panel to review this technology. So that's a, that's a great big step for us. Right now, there are around 70 million um, passenger trips happening in a year. Hyperloop has the capacity to do 200 million passenger trips in a year in the same space. So there are huge amounts of socioeconomic benefits at the end of the day. Um, apart from the fact that you're creating this awesome way for people to get from one place to another, it would actually cause a lot of budding new industries for manufacturing the Hyperloop. And then in that sense, India would just like lead the world in manufacturing Hyperloops. Late uh, 2020s is when I mean you could see it. You could see it, a natural deployment, a commercial deployment in India. It's it's hap It's going to happen fairly quick than 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 what you would imagine it to be. Josh Geigel, our CTO, he started the company in, in, in a garage pretty much uh, six years ago. And um, well, when we started off, our, our first thing was well, how do you develop the propulsion system for this? So when I joined uh, when I joined Hyperloop as an intern, that is when I, I got this great opportunity to work on an entirely new propulsion system um, that is electric. So Hyperloop it's a sustainable form of transport, so we don't use any form of gas. It's an electric mode of transport. I'm really proud to represent India. Really proud to represent Pune, and I'm really proud to represent Maharashtra in this in this endeavor. And I really think that Hyperloop is a viable solution in between Pune and Mumbai. Super pumped about it. It is real. We are doing it. We will do it in India. That's, that's going to be pretty awesome.